Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we went to talk to Meredith, and apparently some apostate mages have escaped from the for, from the uh, Kirkwall Circle. Circle? Circle. And we're off on our way to find them. So we can leave. To the gallows courtyard. Inquisition comes out tomorrow, so I'm going to try and do as many videos as I can today. Probably more than the usual four. So let's get it done. Uh, let's have a look at our missions because we might have some more. Our Regan uh, Missing Mage, Comte de Lance, Hightown Home, Evelina in Darktown, Huan's wife, Nissa in Lowtown. All right, we shall go to Hightown first, because it's at the top, so we'll get it done and out of the way. I Hello. notice you what? hardly ever comment on mages and Templars and such. That's a lot of humans in skirts. I get them mixed up. I highly doubt that. The subject comes up all the time. Tell me about it. And no opinion, one way or the other. Opinions are like testicles. You kick them hard enough, doesn't matter how many you got. That's... <laughs> something. <laughs> right. I never should have gotten in for... Alright, uh, we can sell that. Hello, jump. Oh, that's just a rude fire. That cursed mine. For now, I am refocusing. Welcome to the High Town Mark. Thank you. Oh yeah, we got some swords to hand in as well. I completely forgot about that. There you go. Have you located any Canari blades? Yep. This is what I found. If you find more, bring them to me. Gladly. Now, where is the person's home? Higher up. High time home at night. Oh, so I'm in the wrong place anyway. Well, I was enthusiastic about it at least, I guess. I don't know. I might as well go home first because I want to switch my party around. Because I've still got two people to max out their dispositions. So for now, we're going to... Oh, hi Barry. You've had luck. Right behind you. Nothing new to report on. You know, you play Diamondback better than my cousin Vidar. You wag your tail whenever you have a good hand, though. I want to watch that. Hmm. It's a short tail. I'm sure nobody notices. All I'm saying is he'd be up more than two sovereigns if he watched his tails. My Uncle Emmett has a whole pack of rat terriers who play every week. They're a cutthroat bunch. You've got a long way to go to be their quality. Yeah. Now don't take it bad. You're still better than Anders. <laughs> Coming to the hangman later? I guess he's made a friend. Right. Uh... This way. I don't really came to change my party. Barrack, obviously, you and you. Because we need to max you out, definitely. You are the other anyway. I'm going to switch to night time and go to high out night. Whoa. 
Level you up. You have six points. Dexterity. There we go. 179 DPS. Um, back to back. Throws more force to the I'm sure that we can get this. Always good. Oh, I was going to check his gear. Oh, you have is better. What you have is better. Off we go. I only really turn for Zerk on when I need it, you know, when it comes a tough fight, then I start using it for more damage. Oh, there goes the textures again. The Lancé Mansion. dead for a second. Good evening, Comtes. Oh, the champion of Kirkwall. This is marvelous. You honor this household. I do honor this household. I will call for refreshments. Talia? Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. You're a gracious host. Thank you for your hospitality, Comtesse. I guess. I need to speak to you about Emile. Hospitality? This? Oh, it is a disgrace. If you had just sent a message to say you were coming... Wait, it's my fault? I haven't seen Emile since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emile will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulcie. What have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dulce. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling, we have guests. Hello. Do continue. Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. <laughs> I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I... I barely saw Emile. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. <laughs> new life? His new life is spent in low town taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emile is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. I'll do what I can. If there is a way to help Emil, I will find it. Thank you, champion. An acquaintance spied Emil in the hanged man not long ago. He should still be there. The hanged man? Oh, but that place is filthy. Come, Dulce. Perhaps you should you're lie down. You're just going to faint just because your son's in a freaking... Pub. Oh, but the hanged man is so filthy. <laughs> <laughs> it is filthy. All right, don't mind me, I'm gonna look around and loot your stuff, alright? Hello, random people. What are you doing in here? The chest. In that chest, there's some crap. This looks like the same house as Bartram's house. No, that's me. Ah! What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. Oh, can I go? Superior enchanted. Farming switch. There we go. Thank 
Yep. <sighs> Everyone's still alive, don't worry. I mean, if they weren't, it'd be pretty bad. But, yeah, we're okay. In here? Hello. Your wife seems to be dead. She is not moving. big book and it has tentacles on it that could mean many things it's either the necronomicon or a really weird fetish book in either case i'm not touching it good day remember to upgrade your gear your equipment oh okay don't let me finish reading what huh Fly. Hello. There you go. How did you die so quickly? You died in a split second, that barrack. I definitely need to give you more health or something. I already touched that chest. Down we go. Ah, oh, I could have just teleported actually. Oh, wait, no, Dark Town's the one with the Anders Clinic. So it's fine. Oh, wait, there we go. Walter! Hello. We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to Hightown and leave us alone. Does Evelina live here? Why are you here? This is our home as much as it is hers. Evelina shared everything she had with us. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. But when she went to join the Circle here, they called her apostate. For leaving the tower and for Elden. They locked her up. Okay. Don't you have any other family? Everyone died in the blight. Evelina kept picking us up, new children died. every day, everyone she could save. Do the Templars know you're here? They don't care. They only want Evelina. Okay. Uh... Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the circle would help her, but they just locked her away. Where are you from? You came from Ferelda? Yes. Until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. I'll say this one. <sighs> what was she expecting? Welcome. Here's a bag of gold for your urchins. Do you think we deserve to live like this? Evelina just wanted to give us the lives we would have had at home. But when she came back to us, the Templars followed her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. Evelina's in the sewer tunnels. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We, we have to hide. Okay. Cricket! Okay, bye. Why don't I get rivalry with Sebastian? Sebastian! Screw you! You know, you're a real dick! Oh, they went this way. Sue 
our passage. Come on! How did she even have time to set up these traps? Hello? What are you doing here? So if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... She's coming! Run! There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Okay. I won't let you touch these children. You play the hero well, but I see through it. You're Feraldon, like us. That you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. I spit on you, traitor. And on the pathetic Templars that sent you, Gurgwall should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. Right. Okay. So you offer that. She's a desire demon, is she? Now you're dead. I don't understand. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, Kind, loving woman. What are we looking at? I... I'll try. Pray for her soul, child. The Maker may have mercy even now. Oh, shut up. I just don't know what we'll do now. Here's some coin. Take this, and use it wisely. Twenty sovereigns. Thank you, Miss Eyre. 
I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. Woohoo! Now I've got plus five, Sebastian, because I was nice. Sebastian, you're weird. In the chest, in the chest, it's probably useless items are oh, just one good one actually. Which is all existing damage. Cool. Oh, we're done here. To low town. We're at the low town. We're at the low town. Gonna have some fun in low town because there's people that we need. I've heard rumors about Star Haven, you know. They say you eat the dead up there and murder strangers in the street. Why do I suspect that when you say you've heard rumors, you mean you've invented some? Six of one, half dozen of another. Sure. Hello. Oh, greetings, Monsieur. My mistress is away seeing to a oh. customer, but she will be back shortly. I can take your measurements if you wish to have a dress made. Can you make ruffles? I'll only wear dresses that are absolutely festooned with ruffles. Perhaps it is best if you wait for my mistress. <laughs> anyway, I'm not here for that. I'm here to speak to Huon's wife. Are you she? I... I am his wife. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. Changed? How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. He frightened me. Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. Did you see him use any magic? Perhaps blood magic? I... I don't know. I don't think he used magic on me. So you hadn't seen him since he left you? Huon didn't leave me. He was taken away. Same thing. When the Templars found out he was a mage, they chained him and dragged him from the alienage in front of everyone. Now I'm trapped in this, this sham. Married, but with no husband and no future. Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He disappeared. But, but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. Empty promises. Huh. I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, sir. I could protect you. Would it help if I returned? I'll make sure you're safe. I would be grateful. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Maybe the Circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. Maybe. Well, while we're waiting for the night to come, we'll go deal with... We'll go deal with the guy in the pub. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the pub is this way. Hard set a slums and a barrel. Each swing from a two handed weapon can hit several opponents. Warrior who bear a one handed weapon with a shield hit a much smaller arm. But I didn't get a chance to finish it because it's stopping. Meredith's gone a bit mad. Hello. You have a bald spot on your head. 
Emile Delancey. Wow. Are you... Are you a mage? Because you just magicked my breath away. Yeah. Um. You need more practice with women. Can I practice on you? Oh, God. <laughs> In private? Somehow, I'd imagined it would be more difficult to track down a blood mage. The fool doesn't understand how to lay low. Round the drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know. And you are. Oh. They call me the champion of Kirkwall. I've been looking for you, Emil. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I... Uh, uh, started that rumor because uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, uh, suave. Uh, it would take more than blood magic for that. I've only told people in the tavern, and only women. You don't understand. Uh, I've been in the circle since I was six. 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 For twenty years, I was locked up. Uh, I never had a real drink then. or uh, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Is this real life? Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. Don't they have those this in the This is an circle? act. The mage makes himself out to be harmless. I just don't want to die of Elgin. Yeah, turn yourself in. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, all right? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for her room. Please, let me have this. You can take me back in chains after. It's not a good idea. Would you really risk your life to be with her? She's not even special to you. She's not too ugly. The Templars may come while you're with her. And believe me, they won't ask questions before they run you through. Maybe you're right. Maybe it isn't worth it. Anyway, she's already flirting with someone else. Oh, you win. I'll go back to the circle. This was a stupid idea from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was a very stupid idea. Bad poet. Hello. What rhymes with cornucopia? Electrophobia. I can't think with you standing around. Well, I'm sorry. I just it wanted to talk. Ugh. People in Kirkwall, or at least Lowtown, are really me. I have to say, every time I go to that place, it sounds like someone's going to town on a freaking bagpipe. Right, save. Almost up to a thousand saves. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Oh. You on? Oh, okay. Legs are broken. Hush, and it's love. Out. Don't be afraid. Your blood will bring new life to our people. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're demon eyed to demon demonified. Yes. She was so beautiful. She was your wife. Her sacrifice will lead me to my destiny. The humans keep us down because they're afraid of the magic within us. What? No. Look at the magic Nisa held inside her. She was just afraid to use it. 
It's always the same. Always. Why did you run off? I got the boots of the champion, alright. Sebastian, you're a real dick. Running off in the middle of the fight, we kind of needed you then. Alright, now that fight's done, we're going to stop here, and in the next episode, we shall go back to Meredith to let her know that we've dealt with the damn escaped mages. Escaped? Escaped. There we go. Until next time, this is Major Shepard, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.